Today let's learn about Beer-Lambert's Law and learn how different solutions absorb light. My dilute solution over here at the top, what happens is that the light will come in, it'll travel through the solution, we call this part by the way our path length, which I'll use the variable L. Now when the light goes through, some of it will get absorbed, but because this is dilute, a lot of it will get transmitted, meaning that the light is just going to pass straight through. So my dilute solution is a high transmission and it has a low absorption. Now, if we look at the curvette underneath, this represents my concentrated solution, meaning that there's a lot more solute dissolved in it. So when the light comes in, it's going to go through the solution. Again, this part that it travels through is called my path length. But because the concentration is so high, there's only going to be a little bit of transmission. A lot of light will get absorbed. So my concentrated solution has a low transmission. So not a lot of light is passing through, but there's a high absorbance. So why is that the case? Let's use our Beer-Lambert Law formula above. Absorbance equals epsilon. This is going to be a constant, and that depends on the solution I'm using. And then it also, we're going to multiply that by our path length. Now again, for this example, these path lengths are basically the same thing. So the concentrated solution down here, that has a higher concentration in moles per liter. So the higher this concentration, if we do the math, that will give me a bigger number for absorbance, showing me that the more concentrated solution will be will have greater light absorbance. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks very much for watching.